Hey everyone, my name is Alexandra Martinez. I am a developer advocate here at MuleSoft. In our last video, we learned how to set up API auto discovery so we can connect our API manager to our runtime manager Mule application. We are going to use this configuration to set up our new client ID policy using API manager and it will be reflected instantly in our Mule application from Runtime Manager. This will help us to set up a new layer of security, so we will be asking username and password to access our API, or in this case, client ID and client secret. So again, just to make sure that you have all of the configuration ready for this tutorial, in the last video, we set up our API Manager application right here. We set up our Hello Mule API, if you click on it, you will notice that this is active and this is connecting to our runtime manager mule application. So this, in this case, it's our hello mule test application. And these two are connected right now. So if you don't have this configuration ready, please go to the previous video to set this up. So first in our API manager, let's click on our API. And let's go into policies, apply new policy, and select the client ID enforcement. Select the latest version and click on configure policy. Now this takes us to this configuration screen. So we can either select an HTTP basic authentication header or a custom expression. If we select a custom expression, we are able to select where is our client ID and client secret coming from. So we can select, for example, headers, we can select query parameters, we can even send it on the body. In this case, we are going to stick to the basics. So let's just select HTTP basic authentication header. And in here, we will just leave it like that. So apply configuration to all API methods and resources. Now click on apply. So now, as soon as we click on apply, this API policy, the client ID enforcement, will be automatically added to our Hello Mule API. There's no need to redeploy our runtime manager application. It's just like that. We set it up here in API manager. And now to test it, let's go to Postman. And we already have here our Hello Mule test URL that we were using from the last time and then click on send. Now you will notice that you receive a 401 unauthorized status and you receive an error authentication denied right here in the body. So that means that you need to send some authentication headers. Now for this part of Postman, because I now I want to see my request and my response side to side, I will go here into view and then select toggle to pane view. This will now let me see my request in the left side of the screen and my response on the right side of the screen. Let's now go into exchange. So if we select our Hello Mule API, which is the HTTP API asset that we created from API Manager, we will see that on the right side of the screen, we have a request access button. So click on it and this will open a new window where you will be able to select your API instance and your application. In this case, if this is the first time that you select this, you will see that there are no results because you haven't created an application here. So click on create a new application and then you just have to select the application name. In our case, let's put Hello Mule app. So we know that this is the application, not the API and not the test mule application that we're running. So click on create. And now you can select here the Hello Mule app. Now that it's selected, select request access. And finally, you get a client ID and a client secret. So copy the client ID, go back to Postman. And in Postman, go to Auth and select Basic Authentication or Basic Auth. This will show a username and password that you can input here. So in our username, we will put the client ID that we just copied. And in password, we will put the client secret that we just copied right now. If we show password, we will be able to see it. So now if we click on Send, 
we will finally receive our hello mule body and a 200 ok from the response so this means that this application is now working because we are now sending the username and password or the client id and client secret into our request now just a reminder that we are sending this as basic authentication because that is what we selected in our api manager so if we go back into api manager on our hello mule api in policies we can click on the policy and this will open more details so if we select actions and edit we will see the configuration that we had set up previously so we had selected here http basic authentication header and that is why we are using the basic auth in postman now if you forget or you don't see where your client id and client secret are for your application that you just created you can go back to exchange and then you will see my applications right here so click on that and you will see the hello mule app that you just created so click on it and this will show the client id and client secret right here you can just copy this and then you can click on show and copy the secret as well you can also see where are you connecting this application to. So in our case, we are connecting to the Hello Mule uh, API from API Manager. And that's it for this video. Congratulations on setting up your client ID policy or client ID enforcement policy. Remember that you do have to set up your API auto discovery first, going into AnyPoint Studio and selecting the API ID that you had in API Manager. This will set up the connection from the runtime manager's application that you have deployed together with the API manager API that you create. After this, you can continue creating more API policies for your API or your mill application. So you can continue adding extra layers of security to everything that you're doing for your application. Continue your development journey by going to developer.mulesoft.com and continue our developer tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye.